What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna to start this video by telling a story. Recently, I was out on a service call. Happened to be at a school. Teacher was setting up a bulletin board. She was putting up a collage. She wanted to make sure that her pictures, her borders, everything was plumb and level. I said to her, how are you gonna do that? Do you have a level? She said, I don't need one. I got the level on my smartphone. I said, is it accurate? She said, good question. We're gonna test that today. If you have one of these, do you need one of these? We're gonna get started in about 10 seconds. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me go all out. Up in here, up in here. If you're gonna hang a bunch of pictures, maybe a small television, you wanna make sure that it's, it's level, it's plumb, it's straight. It's visually, if something's out of kilter, it's gonna catch your eye. It's gonna, I know me, I have a little OCD. It would bother me if it was crooked on the wall. So you're gonna want something like this Empire. This is a made in America. This is a torpedo style level. You can buy these at your big box, maybe online. If you didn't see where it made our top 10 tool presents for under $10, we'll link that video here, okay? But this is a fairly inexpensive, accurate way to make sure that what you're putting on the wall is plumb and level. Now, if you don't have these, if you don't have something like this, will your smartphone suffice? There are a lot of different apps for your smartphone. You know, I gotta tell you, you got, I think we actually purchased this one. It was a, a two pack for $10. So basically $5 spirit level compared to I don't know, $800, $900,000 smartphone with a free app. I don't know, which one do you think will win or will it be a tie? Let's find out. So if we wanted to put a level line on our wall or plumb or level, okay, all we'd have to do is get our level, we put it on the wall here, I don't know if you could see that, and then we would make sure our bubble was directly in the middle of our hash marks, okay? We'd be able to then take our pencil and then make level one. Look at that. As you could tell, our tape was not installed level. What can you do? I didn't have, I didn't have my level with me when I, when I put the tape on. Now, if you wanted to make a plumb line, all you do is you turn your level straight up and down and then you'd use the spirit vial here. Move your level until your bubble was in the middle of those hash marks. You'd hold it in place firmly and then you'd make your vertical line. This line is plumb, this line is level. Pretty much, if we measured this, you'd probably have a 90 degree angle. Pretty awesome. For five bucks, we now know that we have level lines. Let's just say you had a heavy picture. It took, it required two hooks, or it just was a picture, it had two hooks. You'd be able to use your level line to maybe mark those areas, set your, set your nail or hanger, and now your picture will hang level. Fairly cheap way to get that job done. Also, the good thing about a nice level like this is, let's just say we needed to extend our line. All we have to do is move our level down the wall, okay? And then we can continue our line. Now we have a longer level line. This way, if we needed to put a hanger here, a hanger here, whatever the dis dis distance was, we can extend our line. Would it be better to maybe use a longer level, or a two foot level, a four foot level, as your lines increase, or as you need to extend level marks? Sure, but if you don't have one, and you only had a torpedo style level, or if you didn't even have this, would a smartphone work? Let's find out. The first thing you'd wanna do is go to your app store, right? This is fairly simple, go there, maybe put in level level tool, right? We come to level tool, we click on that. There's a couple, there's one from Stanley, 
their Stanley Fat Max level app. Gotta tell you, it only has three stars. If I scroll up, I find Bubble Level. I believe it says for iOS. I've already downloaded that app. Let's open it up. So we have it open, and quite frankly, it has all kinds of different applications and has some kind of crazy analyzer. I don't know, but what I'm concerned with is the level. I don't need the compass. I don't need to test for, it says metal detector. It looks like it's like a radioactive detector, a Geiger counter. I don't know, we don't need that. It does have a plumb bob. I gotta tell you, I'm wondering how accurate that is. A plumb bob, <laughs> I mean, it would be, it would be in the phone. It's another way of testing level. The problem is, is that, I mean, I don't know, how would you use it in a phone? Good Lord. It's making all kinds of noises. We have a gyroscope, surface level, and then we come to the bubble level. Now, it will work in either orientation. Let's give a look, see how it does. It looks fairly level in that manner right there. What we'll do is we'll draw our line. Looks a little squiggly. Now, let's turn the other direction. Looks pretty good. Let's draw our line. Immediately, and, and I'm, I don't know if these are plumb and level, but I will say I see a small issue. The small issue is at this point, the line's not very crisp. And quite frankly, if I wanted to make this line longer, such as this one, how do we, how do we handle that? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna assume it has nothing to do with the level and everything to do with the otter box on our phone. So I think to give this a fair, fair shake, what we should do is remove this otter box. We'll take the phone out of the case. Yo, it would be funny, like, it would be like, yo, does it work? You know, and you, you're using this as a, as a level on job site. Okay, well, I'm gonna take my phone out of the case on the job site. You're trying to use it as a construction tool instead of having a $5 level. You drop your $1,000 smartphone, and boom, you're like, oh no, I should have just spent the $5 on the level. Okay, now we have what seems to be a, a better edge to make our lines. Let's do that. Well, here's a, here's a little bit of a problem when you're trying to get a level line on a, on a free smartphone app. A free ad you know, popped up, an ad popped up. We don't, we don't want to find out about that. So we're gonna click off of that. We're gonna go back to our application, which is our bubble level. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna hold, I don't want to skew the bubble level, so I'm trying not to touch the screen. Okay, we're gonna hold, we're gonna hold tightly as we can. I'm gonna tell you, the, the phone, He's kind of squiggling around here. And it's moving, it's got a shiny back. What we'll do is we'll draw another line here. It's moving around on the wall. Quite frankly, when I had the rubber back case on the level slash smartphone, it seemed like it held in place a little bit easier than taking that cover off. So it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a lose-lose. If you have the case on, the line's not as crisp. If you have the case off, the, the, the phone moves around on the wall. Let's extend that line. Let's just test it. First of all, why don't we use our longer spirit level. Okay, we'll test the first line made by the shorter spirit level and just test if it's, if it's level. Let's see if it's level. I've extended that line. Sometimes when you try to extend the line, it throws it off. Let's just see how we do. The beautiful thing about a dedicated spirit level is it has a nice crisp edge to draw lines 
and to confirm lines. You could see the line all the way across. You can see that, can you see this top edge here? See how we can confirm that line? Our, our bubble is right in the middle of our two hash marks and we're level. Beautiful. Okay, let's confirm plumb. We're right between our marks. Pretty cool. Now, let's confirm so we know these lines are level. They're perfect, they're nice and crisp. If we needed to, we can easily extend these lines. Let's confirm our smartphone level with app. If we come to the flattest points on the wall in our line, because it's hard to, to get a read on this squiggly line on the smartphone. If we come to our flattest points here and here at the end. If you come to our spirit bubble, our spirit vial, you can see our bubble is clearly not in between the hash points. If we come to our vertical line and want to confirm plumb, we're going to go to our flat point at our corner here, our edge, and then the flat point at the bottom. We're riding that, we're riding that, we're riding that edge. If you look at this straight on, okay, you'll see we are in between the hash marks. And you have to understand this is a shorter run. If we extended this line out using our smartphone, it probably would throw the level off even more, or the, the plumb off even more. You can see that we're in between the hash marks, but we're not evenly in between. We're not splitting those hash marks. It's, defi it's definitely want to go in this direction to get it even. If we come down to our smaller line, and this, this was with our case on, this is with our case off. Right our line, you can see we're way off. You can see once again our bubble is just outside of the level mark. Now, what does this prove? This proves that a designated $5 tool that's made specifically for a job will outperform a thousand dollar tool that's doing something it's not made to do. We have to take into account that maybe the app works perfectly, maybe the phone moving around on the wall because it's shiny, slippery, hard to hold on the wall. If we try to hold the, 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 the phone, smartphone firmly on the wall, we would then be touching the face of the phone. It would send this off to websites, free, you know, buy this, we're selling that, go live here. Can it get you by in a pinch? Possibly. I think that what we're showing here with a piece of paper taped on the wall, this is the best case scenario, right? I think that in the real world, you would probably, if you didn't have one of these available to you, instead of grabbing your smartphone, taking it out of case, and making a squiggly line as a level or plumb line, you probably will want to stop what you're doing, head on out, on out to the hardware store, spend the five bucks, and get the job done right. With that, I want to know what your thoughts are down in the comments section. Have you used an app on a smartphone to get plumb, to get level? Does it work for you? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you say to yourself, smartphones are taking over the world, spirit levels are a thing of the past, all you need is the iPhone 10. You don't need those true blues anymore. Let us know down in the comments section. If you like this video, make sure you're smashing that like button. If you like our content, like our channel, and like our style, make sure you're getting subscribed. Also, 
while you're there, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you're tapping that bell notification. You're gonna wanna set that bell for all notifications. Matter of fact, you're gonna wanna crack that bell. Act like you're on Independence Mall in Philadelphia and you're cracking the Liberty Bell. Let freedom ring. Why do we want you to crack the bell? Well, we're here in the Philadelphia region. We're fairly patriotic people here. Crack that bell. With that, I wanna say, it's a pretty cool little test, you know what I mean? Let us know down in the comment section below if you like it. I want everybody to know, I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks a lot for being here. Have a great day, we'll see you on the next one. Yo, I'm uninstalling this app, like, immediately. It makes all kinds of noises, it's basically useless. But don't, don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm being too critical. Maybe it could get you out of a pinch, but, you know, the thoughts there, I just don't, like the whole interface. I like to have my hands on a level. Just saying. Is it over? I know what you're thinking. The video can't be over yet. I mean, there's gotta be more, right Vince? Well, there is more. We're gonna show you how you can win $500 worth of tools if you enter our contest by clicking the video over here. When you're done doing that, you can click the video down here for some more entertainment, or click the video up here. If you love our content, love our channel, and love our style, make sure you get subscribed over there. Everybody, have a great day.